This woman was peacefully practicing her religion. One of the main reasons people came to the United States was to get away from the British persecution of religion. Therefore, the Founding Fathers wanted to keep religious freedom. If the government believes that a person's religious practices are not covered by the First Amendment, they must follow three strict rules. First, the court must establish that the person sincerely believes in their practices. Secondly, the government must prove that they have good reason for interfering with these beliefs. Lastly, the government must prove that there is no better alternative than interfering with this person's religious practices. I disagree with the government and we should change it. I disagree with the government and we should change it. You got your sign upside down. No. Oh. Dang it. I disagree with the government and we should change it. I... This man disagrees with the government and he is letting the people know that there is a problem. As long as he is not violent, it's covered by the First Amendment. This scandal is really going to disrupt politics. And the best part is, it's true. Though this man is about to destroy a politician's career, it's covered by the First Amendment because it's true. Let the record show on this day we peacefully assemble and decided something. Aye, aye! This assembly is covered by the First Amendment because it is peaceful. The Founding Fathers wanted people to be able to gather and express their ideas and concerns without the government getting involved. The First Amendment does not cover direct threats. This man directly threatened the President of the United States. Our Founding Fathers wanted people to have freedom of speech, but they knew they had to draw the line somewhere. Who are you voting for? No, who are you voting for? Ah! These people are assembling, but it is not peaceful. The Founding Fathers did not want violent assemblies, especially to suppress voter turnout. This scandal is really going to destroy this politician's career. And the best part is, it's not even true. This man is doing what is called libel or slander, false speech against other people that isn't true. The Founding Fathers wanted us to expose bad things that were happening, but they didn't want us to make up things. The Founding Fathers of this country wanted its people to have freedom. They wanted them to be able to speak their minds and discuss the issues. They knew that government wasn't perfect, so they wanted people to be able to inform other people of the issues and why the government wasn't perfect. They also wanted people to be able to gather together with like-minded people so that they could decide how to make it better. And lastly, our founding fathers wanted the people to be able to tell the government what the will of the people was so that they could make the government reflect it better.